Hey guys, I know it's October and I am surrounded by fall decor, but I'm ready. I'm ready to do some Christmas DIYs and if you are as well, you're going to enjoy this video. So let's go ahead and get started. You can find these ceramic houses at thrift stores and garage sales all year long. I especially loved how tall and skinny these were, but we're gonna change them up for Christmas. I'm gonna be using Fusion Paint in the color Victorian Lace and the Pointed Sash number 14 paintbrush. The Victorian Lace is a beautiful off-white color. Absolutely love it. It's going to be perfect for this project. And as you can see, the coverage of this paint is amazing. I ended up putting two coats of paint on these houses. My paint is dry and the houses look great. So if you're going for an all white look, this is a simple project, just paint your ceramic houses white. However, for Christmas, I love white and gold. So this is my favorite paint pen. I just ordered from Amazon. And of course, I will have a link to all the products that I use in today's video in the description. And I'm just gonna go over all the little edges of the house with this gold pen. And it is just going to take this cute cute little house to the next level. I think white and gold is such a beautiful combination for Christmas. It is one of my favorite color schemes, but y'all let me know what is your favorite color scheme for Christmas. This was a quick, simple, easy, very inexpensive project and something that is completely customizable to your personal color scheme for the holidays. Also, this is perfect for the winter season as well. I rescued this case from the Goodwill bins. It had this little personal note on one side that I thought was absolutely precious and it was this beautiful, deep, red color that I love for Christmas. And of course it had all these brass hardware details on it and it has a plain side. So we are gonna go ahead and add some embellishments to that side. This is just a random little metal piece that I had in my stash. I'm going to attach it using Gorilla Glue and some hot glue that way it sticks right away. Definitely pick up these little metal pieces when you find them because they make great embellishments on your thrifted finds. Now I wanna add a transfer. I am going to be using something from the IOD Brocant transfer book. I've used a lot from this book already. I really liked these, but I felt like they were a little bit too small. So I think I'm gonna use this black and white floral one. I think it will be perfect for this piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. I have my transfer arranged how I want it on a piece. And I personally like to use painter's tape just to keep everything in place. And once you have it where you want it, you're gonna remove that white backer and every tra transfer comes with this little tool and you just rub it over your transfer and you'll be able to see it transferring on to your piece. Then you just pull up the plastic piece and it is as easy as that. So these two little typography ones, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them on. Now the next step is completely personal preference. You can leave it as is, but I personally love to sand my transfers. I just find it gives it a more worn aged look and really looks like it has always been a part of this piece. I like the way that this piece came out and I, I think it will look great not only for Christmas but for year around. And it looks good standing up but you could also lay it flat and use it as a riser and you can even store stuff in it. I always pick up wooden bowls when I find them at the thrift store because there is so many things that you can do with them. And I know that y'all are going to love this project. First, I'm gonna be using Fusion Milk Paint in the color Hotel Robe. If you've never used milk paint before, it comes in a powder form and you mix one part water to one part um, paint powder. However, I want to do more of a white wash effect on this wood. So I'm going to do one part paint to two parts water. I'm going to put one good coat of paint on all the bowls. Then I'm going to come back with a paper towel and wipe it off. And I love the way it came out. I wanted it to have 
this old world aged look and it, that's exactly what it, it had. So once I wiped it all off, then I went back and just kind of added some more paint, wiped it off and just played with it till I got the exact look that I wanted. I didn't want it to be perfection so there's no right or wrong way to do this you just you know you keep playing with it until you get the look that you want i am personally obsessed with the way that this came out and you will definitely be seeing this painting technique for me in the future but this is a christmas video so now we need to add some christmas elements to our bowls to keep with the handmade look that I'm going for on this piece, I'm actually going to hand draw some Christmas trees in the center of the bowl. I absolutely hate <laughs> hand drawing stuff because I think I like things to be perfect, but we are going for a handmade imperfect he uh, look here. So I'm just going to go with it. And I actually think I did a really good job. I mean, Christmas trees are not that hard. <laughs> Now I'm gonna paint my Christmas trees in using Fusion Mineral Paint in the color Vintage Laurel. I think it was the perfect choice for this project because I feel like this green also had this old world look to it. So once again, I'm not going for perfection on here. I'm just gonna give all these trees two coats of paint, not even really worry about staying inside the lines. If you have not used milk paint before, one of the amazing features of it is it can get chippy, like amazing old paint finishes, and you can actually force it to chip by using a heat gun when you dry it. So I use that on my Christmas trees, so that way I had a little bit of chippiness adding to that old world look that I wanted. The bowl is looking great, but I really feel like the tree needs to be outlined, so I'm gonna take this gold pen, and once again, try not to be perfect or think about it too much and just outline the Christmas tree and I think the shiny gold outline in contrast with the old world look of the bowl is absolute perfection but y'all let me know what y'all think. I do love the bowls exactly as they are but I'm going to go ahead and seal them with Fusion's hemp oil. It does come out green but don't worry it definitely goes on the piece clear and this is an all natural sealer so that way whoever purchased the bowls if they actually wanted to use them to eat it would be perfectly food safe. So with the hemp oil, you just want to brush it on your piece. You want to let it sit for 30 minutes and let that wood soak in the oil. Then you want to take a lint-free rag or a paper towel and you want to wipe off all the excess. And of course, all the products that I used on today's video will be linked in the description below. You can find them on my website, juliesdesignsandsigns.com. These came out even better than I had imagined. And if you are obsessed with them as well, this set of three is currently available on my website. And I did have four more small bowls in my stash. So I went ahead and made some more and these will be sold individually. For this project, I'm gonna be using this small cast iron skillet, the IOD new blitz mode, and also the IOD air dry clay. When you're using these molds, you just wanna sprinkle it with some cornstarch, that way your clay does not stick to the mold and it easily comes out. And then you just push in your clay and IOD has these great micro rims, so I just run my finger across the mold and all the excess clay just comes right off. So once your entire mold is covered, then you can just pull your mold right out and y'all, the detail on these snowflake molds are absolutely amazing. Then I'm gonna take some Gorilla Glue, add it to the back of my mold, and then put the mold inside my cake pan. I love how it ended up looking like a big snowflake pancake. This snowflake mold was definitely the perfect size for this pan. The piece does look okay like this, but I think it would look a lot better if we added white wax to the entire piece. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush on some white wax on the front and back of the pan and then I'm gonna take a paper towel and just wipe it off. And I really did feel like this made it look more like a piece of decor instead of, you know, 
a snowflake that I glued to the inside of a pan, but I think it's perfect to add into a kitchen for Christmas. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This is an old cast iron trivet that I picked up and it has this tile in the middle that luckily for me has already popped out. So I'm gonna take it, take Fusion Mineral Paint in the color Victorian Lace and I'm gonna paint this tile. Once my tile is fully dry, I want to add a stamp to it. I'm gonna be using IOD's typesetting stamp, the Alpha Belly stamp, and the ink in the color Tomato. I'm gonna be layering stamps. So I'm figuring out where I want the stamps to be and the stamp that you want to be on top, you wanna to stamp that first. And I centered my thin mount to my tile. That way I know exactly where the stamp needs to go. So you put your first stamp down and all your IOD stamps come with these little clear masks. So I'm gonna put it over my Alpha Belly's stamp and then that way when I go and I stamp my B, that it won't go over the Alpha Belly stamp because that mask is in the way. And that is how you layer stamps. Now I just need to glue the tile back onto the trivet and this piece is done. guys what did y'all think about today's video please leave a comment below and let me know what was your favorite project that i created i truly hope today's video inspired you and got you ready to do some christmas crafts and if you love these sorts of videos i will leave a playlist right here i have tons of diy thrift lift videos on my channel that i think you will enjoy but once again I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video.